Well guys, the time has come for the down ramp to be made for the ramp that you've been seeing hanging around the back. Um, so tiny one's going, obviously, so Phil's headed down there to start building the ramp. Uh, I'll head down shortly and get a bit of footage of that. So we'll head down and have a look. It is for now we're gonna try and dress it up um, we've got the right that um, vibrating roller here so we're gonna attack it with that a bit smooth it out um, while we've got everything or well, while we've got all the gear here I guess Now somehow we've talked, whether it's because Dad loves the roller too much or someone talked him into doing this, but looks like he's having a bit of fun. So usually it's just this sort of, takes a bit of a rain and then you drive over it a bit and it smooths it out all right, but with the roller it, we can get it pretty, pretty good pretty quick.
It's been uh, over 10 years probably since we did the ramp last. We've got some other jumps here and a bigger one down there that yeah we've been doing. But I myself haven't actually ridden the motorbike much for like a couple of years probably and Brad and Phil were always a bit more daring with the jumps than I was um, so yeah but yeah it's been good good 10 or so years since I did the ramp and I don't even know if I'll do it again. What do you think Phil? It's yeah, probably the biggest stand ramp we've ever made so. <laughs> the only problem is now that it's packed if you do fall off it'll hurt more. Yeah that's true. <laughs> I think at that stage it'll hurt whatever you do. <laughs> Yeah, I said I said I'm probably not going to do it. That way, it's a surprise if I do do it. Yeah, no, Matt's the gun. <laughs> he's just down playing it. He, he's all very modest. That Matt. is absolutely not true. <laughs> You're going to do a backflip the first time you do it, I reckon. That is not true at all. <laughs> so, no, I thought we'd um, keep it quite steep on this backside so we can get the ramp a bit closer and give everyone a bit of a chance at jumping it. So yeah, don't want to start back too far. No, no, we won't start. And that's yet. nice and soft there anyway, see so face plant there. Yeah. Oh, that uh, didn't take long to push the dirt up. There was already a bit of dirt here already, but... Yeah, well, uh, it's a lot more dirt in it because we've got the width. Yeah. So we'll have plenty of width if we get a cross breeze. They so can jump, jump in windy days. It's a bit of a luxury having the roller. We've never done that before. So we're going to jump the dozer, are we? You might. Down ramp's about as tall. Down ramp's a bit, a bit lower than the rocks, isn't it? Got Isaac coming first. And Jamie. Only one person's been hurt in the making of this film. Um, Mitch, just a family friend, he um, yeah, he busted his leg up pretty bad and broke it. So I might be able to throw up the x-ray quickly. So if you're squirmish, turn away. But um, yeah, so hopefully he gets back on his feet soon. One day I might have a crack, not at this, but a lot smaller jump maybe. Hey! It's a bit rude. Cheeky boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, how's the relief, Phil? Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> so you, you reckon you're going to bury the ramp now? Yeah, because we'll end up thinking of something else to jump. <laughs> Just more a mental, mental gymnastics because when you're coming up to the ramp, all you can see is dozer. You can't see the dirt, <laughs> dirt ramp. So you, um, yeah, you, you trust that the ramp's on the other side. Yes. Someone had moved 100 tons of dirt. Yeah. Probably more than that. So are you, were you always planning on doing it, Brad? No, I was just going to do it. 
going to see, no pressure. Just no pressure. The other day I did it without the dozer and I was real happy, so yeah. just going to see how I felt. I should also explain that Brad has a new motorbike, but it's more of an enduro one. So he's brought out his old 2005, uh, six 2006. Um, Good old Carby. Yeah, Carby lovely, one. Lovely Carby one. <laughs> and um, yeah, so he uh, yeah he's got that back out because it's a little bit better set up for jumping. And Phil did much the same, except he sold his old bike. Sold it to a mate, <laughs> and then um, he hasn't been riding it, so I asked him whether I could borrow it for the jumping. <laughs> The um, RMX is just tuned for enduro and very soft suspension, so this being a motocross bike is um, a lot better for giving on the harder leans and stuff. So, so I think this is a 2005, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But they might, this is when bought, Suzuki and Kawasaki were together a bit, weren't they? Yeah. I bought this new in um, when I was about 16. So they're both 450s too, by the way. Yeah, so Brad and I have been, this was our old rivalries, these two bikes for 20 years, oh, what was it, 20, no, 15 like years ago. Yeah. And then I had a 2004 KDM, but I didn't have the guts. <laughs> oh, I've got to, um, uh, for me, I was just wanted to do it because uh, I had a little bit of a mental breakdown a few years ago, so uh, a fair bit of anxiety, so I was a real, uh, I wanted to, to do it just to prove to myself that fear doesn't rule me so it's, I'm really really quite happy actually and, very uh, poetic very poetic and I'm normally not this husky even though <laughs> cameras do make you look a bit fatter I've got a I've got a protective thing there just it probably improves really it really it makes your chest stick out a bit more and not so much your belly so you probably do look tougher yeah, like that I'm just trying to cover a six pack <laughs> I, um, but yeah, we we did move it from the other day. We moved it back about a metre, good metre and a That's half. That's when Mitch Mitch busted his leg. Yeah, yeah. so it's um, I don't think we need to um, go jump any bigger. We used no, to good. we used to go bigger in our younger days, but we're getting older and and the, everything aches a bit more. And um, <laughs> we're a bit I'm a bit heavier anyway, so you land a bit harder and go splat or. So just just for the viewers that are going to accuse me of just lying when I say I, I did yeah well I am a sook but <laughs> no I wasn't going that but if they're going to accuse me of lying I did actually do the ramp how what would the equivalent be of what I did you reckon probably at the start of the uh, dozer where, where I was pushed up to the, the dirt there <laughs> 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 probably about that arm somewhere yeah probably probably here so I probably I could have jumped the dozer back then I, I would have made it through the stack in the, in the windscreen <laughs> but yeah I, I pulled yeah I, I do think it was, um, yeah, it was like 16, 17 or 18, one of those numbers, but I know it was pretty, it was pretty, it was right on my limit, I wasn't doing any more, but you boys went back at quite a way, quite a way after that. Well, I think the, the biggest one yesterday, I landed a bit, bit hard down the down ramp, I think it was 20 metres from my back wheel to the ramp, and the, the biggest one I think we did was 25 yeah, so I, I probably would have been around the 15 mark then. Yeah, this would be about 70 feet probably, and the biggest we've done is probably 80 feet for all the Americans. Yeah, I'll be 40 next year, so. You old soul. Now we've just got to worry about the next generation and the example we're setting them. So <laughs> yeah. we, actually, Isaac was jumping yesterday at this, this, this height. Yeah, no, how old's he? He's 11. 11. On, on a, on a um, trail bike. 150. 140. 140. KLX. So today I said no, you, you probably, you've got plenty of time to um, break a few bones later in life, so just, <laughs> just maybe hold off. It's a fun spoiler, isn't it? Yeah, he is. <laughs> just because my kid's not doing it. <laughs> yeah. It's okay when we do it, not our kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's probably because you know what they're thinking. <laughs> so Jamie's on my bike there now. He, um, he kind of fits that a bit too well, I think. You might have to buy that back off, Tom. Yeah. Hey, Tom, if you're watching, <laughs> how much do you want for it? <laughs> it's, it hasn't been abused. Uh, no, not, no jumping. Jump. <laughs> uh, just putting around. <laughs> nah, well, good job. 